Hello ladies and gentlemen and thank you for taking the time to join me here at Bentley's flagship showroom near the factory at Crewe. It may not be Geneva but it is an exciting day and I'm joined by Bentley's chairman and chief executive Mr Adrian Hallmark. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Now the Geneva International Motor Show was cancelled at just a few days notice. What was your reaction to that decision? Well, I was very disappointed for two reasons. One, all the hard work that the team had put in to make it happen. I think we created the best show stand we ever built. Uh, and then, of course, we had to stop everything and pull everything back to crew uh, and create this event. So I guess uh, every cloud has a silver lining because this is fantastic. Indeed, indeed. Now, 2019, as we saw in the film, was a fantastic year for Bentley and also your centenary year. So what were the highlights for those 100-year celebrations? It's like we crammed 100 years into one. So we <laughs> launched the Bentayga Speed, which is the fastest SUV in the world. Uh, we launched the Continental GT Convertible. That's 20% of our global sales, usually. Three fantastic limited editions, each with 100 pieces to celebrate the centenary. And of course, uh, we've just, at the end of the year, launched the Flying Spur. This actual car was supposed to be at the Geneva show, and we managed to turn it around and get it back here so we can do the presentation today. In addition to that, we had a big celebration here at Crewe with more than 13,000 of our associates and their families joining us in a big celebration on the, the playing fields, as it were. And of course, in the end, it was Salon Privé, the big event at Blenheim Palace, 1,321 Bentleys assembled, biggest in history, the most expensive car park collection in the world, <laughs> I think, at the time. And of course, you gave yourself this wonderful birthday present as well, the EXP 100 GT. We did. We wanted to set a, a vision for 2035 and beyond. A completely carbon neutral car from a drivetrain point of view it can be driven or it can be autonomous. But more importantly, all of those materials are fully sustainable, carbon neutral and possible even today. Yeah, I know that two key messages for you is about sustainability. It's very important for you and also for your customers. Absolutely. So this year we've already taken the first two steps towards our sustainability journey. First one being the Bentayga Hybrid, which you see before you, a 50 kilometer or 30 mile range. Example, my car, I've already done a thousand miles with more than 60 miles per gallon in my usage pattern, which is fantastic. And the second big news was the carbon neutral factory that we agreed and achieved in uh, 2019 in October. And we use our own sustainable energy combined with certified green energy that we buy in. And you ended the year with some great financial news as well. We did, we were very pleased. We managed to deliver more than 11,000 cars to our customers. That's the fourth time in our 100 year history that we've achieved that. It makes us still the biggest luxury car company on earth. And we achieved that without the flying spur, which is normally 20% of our sales. So a great performance, we will get back to profitability. It's a sign of the turnaround and of the, uh, the fact that we set up for growth. And I'd just like to take the opportunity to thank all the colleagues here at Crew that worked really hard to make, us ha make that happen. Now, you also made history of a different kind, looking at your past and nearly forgotten traditions to bring back one of the most famous Bentleys ever made. Absolutely. The, uh, the famous Sir Tim Birkin uh, Bentley Blur that he raced at Le Mans successfully. And what we've done with the actual car, which is probably the most valuable Bentley in the world, we've stripped it down to every nut, bolt and washer, digitally scanned it, and now we're in the process of recreating that car and creating 12 of them for some very lucky and discerning customers. Could I be one of those 12? You could have been, but they're already all sold. Oh, I'm very sorry. I have to move quicker next time. You would. Now, the Blower Continuation Series has yeah. signalled the rebirth of the Bentley Mulliner division. It has. Uh, I think the first thing to say is that Mulliner started in 1559, uh, and we bought it as a company in 1959, so it's way older than Bentley. It has a long tradition for iconic car production and design, uh, but now it's in-house. And we've now set out to create three pillars of activity, the Bentley Classic activity, uh, which this is a great example of, but the next is the Bentley Collections, uh, like the 100 series we did for the centenary. And I'd just like to show you one that we've just also brought back from Geneva uh, that represents uh, an interpretation of our Continental GT convertible in a completely elevated way from in, in terms of the sense of luxury. It is so lovely, and the attention to detail is just fantastic, isn't it? It is. We're really proud of it. And what we try and do with Mulliner, we start with a, a car which is already world class and world leading, and then the guys have to do something better. So you can see here, the grill is totally different to the standard car, and the treatment inside the lights is, is dimmed down a little bit, so it really stands out. The 22-inch Mulliner driving specification wheels, which are beautiful, different treatment on the wings with the chrome work, and also the door caps, just to make sure it stands out uh, when you're driving around 
wherever you may be driving on the Côte d'Azur. Now, I know that there are 400,000 individual stitches in here. I'm not going to count them all. But you spoke about three portfolios. What is the third? So the third is taking us right back to our roots, and that's Mullina Coach Building. Mullina has a fantastic heritage since 1559 in building coaches and carriages, etc. And in Bentley, the most iconic design, the R-Type Continental, was built by H.J. Mullina, as was Her Majesty the Queen's uh, car in 2002, the State Bentley. So it has a long tradition, but we want, want to really now take that into the next dimension of the next century, and we have something that we'd like to show you that is the, the beginning of the next step in our journey. And that car is waiting for us next door, so without further ado, Adrian, could you please introduce us to the machine? I will. So, ladies and gentlemen, actually the reason that we're all here, it's my great pleasure to be able to present to you the Bentley Mulliner Bacalar. I have left Adrian for a little while and I'm joined now by Bentley's design director, Stefan Silav. Stefan, wow. Talk me through the two seats and the Barchetta design, which is fantastic. Thank you, Vicky. Uh, I think our aim was to portray Grand Touring at its most exhilarating. And it was also, despite the fact we see a very futuristic and modern car, uh, a nod towards our classic Bentleys like the Birkin blower, coming to you, the question of your two seats, the blower had two seats and no roof. And when you look at the seats and imagine the driver and the passenger, they are uh, surrounded by the exterior, almost like a scarf cocooned by the exterior of the Bacalar. And another idea was also to give a salute to our coach building department, Bentley Malina. They always made pieces of art, as you know, and I hope the Bacala will be seen as a piece of art in the future. So it is futuristic looking and I can see that there's a sense of the EXP100 GT about it. Exactly. Uh, we obviously got our inspiration from the EXP100 GT, uh, which was the manifesto for the brand and for the future of the brand. And we took a, a few details, like a very strong statement around the front grille, typical Bentley matrix grille. This time, only two lights with a very specific uh, light graphic and at the rear of the car very very three-dimensional rear lights again like in the EXP100 GT. And also there are sustainable materials that you showcased in the EXP100 GT. Absolutely, uh, we gave a, a promise nine months ago and here we go the first uh, promise are fulfilled. So for example when you look at the exterior paint uh, yellow flame it contains ash of rice husk and they develop in a very, very uh, sustainable way this magic metallic glow. In the interior, we use the 5,000 year old uh, river wood in an open pore finish, but also in a glossy finish. And to add on, we also used uh, woolen tweed from the Scottish borders. Now, you must have many favorite items in there, but which is your most favorite, do you think? Well, the most favorite one, I think, is what we have done with the embroidery in the seats. Embroidery is a craftsmanship we develop uh, for our customer in the factory for many, many years. And we deliver it to them. They are happy with it. And we in reinvented it on a higher level and, again, made a very, very modern statement. Oh, well, thank you so much, Stefan. I think it looks incredible. Well done. Thank you, Vicky. So I'm rejoined by Adrian. Adrian, this is not a concept car. This is actually going to be made. It is. Um, we will build 12 of these cars. We'll start deliveries in the next year. And everyone will have exactly the same technical basis as this car. But you can fully expect that from the customers that buy these cars, they will choose trims and paints and different features to be totally individualistic. But the car is real, and we're very proud of it. So could I be one of the 12 owners of one of these? Sadly, again, they're all pre-sold. 
<laughs> now, I'd like to take you back to what you said earlier, that mm. you would like Bentley to become the world's most sustainable luxury car company. Mm. What are the next steps for you for this? So that is a long journey, um, and we will take systematic steps to get there. But every journey starts with the first step. So we've already shown the Bentayga hybrid. We'll hybridize every car in our range. We've shown the XP100 GT, the future of luxury. And just nine months later, most of the materials that we've trialed and experimented with there were able to bring into this fantastic vehicle. And it will be built in a carbon neutral factory. But over the next two weeks, we'll, we'll be making more announcements about that journey to, to become the most sustainable luxury car company. So watch this space. Yes, indeed, we will. Thank you so much, Adrian. Thank and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.